Dr. Helen Sue from Hella Mental Health. And today let's talk a little bit about dementia. I don't always talk about older folks um, diagnoses, but this is really important and it's really personally meaningful as well. Some of y'all have talked to me about being an, in anticipatory grief as someone you care about is aging and also developing dementia. Both of my grandmothers toward the end of their life suffered from different dementia processes as well. So I understand this a lot. Wearing grandma's jade, by the way, in honor. But the most important point I wanna make is to understand that not everybody gets dementia as they get older. Not every older person gets geriatric depression. A big mistake that I see families make is when your elder starts having more forgetful moments more mood swings, more confusion. Sometimes people say, oh, they're just old, or that's just an aging thing. Or, oh, he, he always kind of had a temper. But really notice the baseline and compare from where they were at. You know, it's not true that everyone who gets older gets depressed. People over 60, it's maybe about 6% of people. And it's not true that everybody who gets older develops Alzheimer's or any other cognitive impairment or dementing processes. So an accurate diagnosis can make a world of difference to keep your elders safe and to take them for the right kinds of evaluations early on. Another really common question people have, is there a test that I can just get a positive or not and know if somebody has dementia? Unfortunately, no, that's not how it works. And um, clarifying diagnosis can be a process of multiple types of tests, tests of memory, tests of balance, tests of perception, because some brain um, diseases also impact maybe visual fields, physical balance, all these other things in addition to mood, thinking, and cognition. So probably the best place to start is asking your general um, practitioner doctor and inquiring about a neuropsychological evaluation. Long, long before brain scans can pick up things like major um, plaques or damage from Alzheimer, long before that point, a neuropsych evaluation can pick up on deficits that are developing. And while we may not have a cure, getting the right diagnosis early could mean that you can slow down the process and talk to your doctor about those treatments to slow down what's happening. And it can help you prepare to keep somebody safe and know what they need. So proper diagnosis is important. Dementia doesn't happen to everybody who gets older. And it's important to get the facts, get support, because if your loved one does have dementia, it can be really tough to caretake and learn how to talk to them, especially if they get confused or moody. And there's a lot of great resources for that. So know the facts, read up, and I'll put some resources in the links. Know that you're not alone. There's a lot of us who've lost loved ones um, to dementia, who are living with that and dealing with anticipatory grief, but get the right information and it could preserve quality of life and safety much longer. I'm Dr. Helen Sue from Hella Mental Health. If you have questions about your elders and their mental health, put that in the chat and maybe we can address some of those in a future video too.